Welcome back into the show. The book Saving Ryan charts one doctor's journey to develop a treatment for a rare genetic disorder to save a young boy whose parents were told that he would not live to see his 10th birthday. Joining us today now is Dr. Emil Kakis with his inspiring story of determination. Thank you, Emil, for joining us here on the show. Well, thanks for having me. Great to be here. Yeah, it's so wonderful to talk about an incredibly inspiring story. Well, for those who may not know the story and have not yet read the book, what is Ryan's rare disease that you came across? Well, Ryan got diagnosed when he was three years old with a disease called mucopolysaccharidosis. And that's so hard to say. We just call it <laughs> MPS yeah. for short. Mm -hmm. And MPS is a disease where your body's missing an enzyme. And you need enzymes to build yourself and break yourself down every day. Your body's constantly recycling. And his body's missing one of those enzymes. And without it, his body would fill up with the sugars and things that would actually deform him and eventually lead to his death, usually between 10 or 20 years. So you can imagine being diagnosed and then seeing your child lose his life over that decade. And his father said, I, I can't let this happen. He was just a police officer in Texas and said, I just can't sit back and wait. Wow, that is, I, I can only imagine what his parents and so many other parents are probably going through during that time. When he first came to you, why did, why did they choose to come to you? What was it about your practice and your knowledge that made them so comfortable? Well, at that time, I had actually started on the project to treat MPS. They just didn't know we had. Oh, wow. And I was working with a doctor at UCLA, and we, she had cloned the gene. That was what you needed, the tools to be able to develop and make the enzyme he's missing and give it back to him. And so I was working on this project, but I was kind of running out of money. There was not a lot of interest because there's too few kids. A couple hundred kids in the United States have this, so no one was really interested in funding it. But we had a solution, so we were working on it, and he was searching for that solution. Mm. And he was able to find out that we were working on one. And he found us and said, and we met, and that was that picture in the library that you showed earlier. Yeah. Where he said, we're, we're going to raise everything we can to help you bring this treatment to Ryan and save Ryan's life. Wow. So this was a 30-year journey, correct, to be able to, to save Ryan and to be able to get him to where he's at today. What went into that journey? That's a long time. It's a long journey. It's not only my journey, but it's Dr. Neufeld, who I worked with, started the science in the late 60s, right? And that's when she began looking at this disease and figuring it out. And it took many years to figure out what was really wrong and how do you fix it? And then she had to clone the gene. And so her, I began working with her and then we took it to the next level. So I was kind of the last scientist in a big, long scientific relay race to get from the beginnings to something. And Ryan's story began in parallel there, and they happened to find us. And that was the amazing thing, that they did find us and that the science was finally ready. And there was this shot to change, save his life. And Mark Dent put everything he had, put all the money they could get into helping us get there. Mm, so this story has a happy ending, unlike some stories out there. But you have a book. You have a book called Saving Ryan. We do. Saving Ryan, I've written up the story because I think it's a very inspiring story. Across this country, there are hundreds of kids that get diagnosed with a rare genetic disease mm -hmm. and others that are dying and without any treatments. And this book is a guide to what one family could do to help save their kid, working with the scientist to develop the first ever treatment and bring that forth, get it approved and save not just Ryan, but to treat hundreds of kids around the world now that have this disease. So. We think it's an inspiring story of, of a battle mm -hmm. and succeeding against all odds to treat a rare disease that no one cared about. Wow, and, and to think too, it's, it's so harsh, this world that we live in, to think that there are many children out there who suffer from these diseases that, you know, people may, unfortunately, you, you just said it, that people might not have a care for, you know? So what was the purpose and intent for you writing saving Ryan besides to be inspirational what was the purpose and drive behind that well the other real important purpose was to also talk about how difficult it was and maybe we can do some things differently as a country on how we approach the development of treatments we have a lot of good science that we're not using and the process of getting a drug approved is so challenging and difficult that a lot of the book talks about that process of how do you prove a drug is helping someone and the fact it took too long and took made it harder, which means more rare diseases won't be able to get that to happen. So my hope is to inspire changes in the system 
so we can get more of these drugs developed. Now, uh, well, I'm sure that the work you are doing is inspiring a lot of change. So thank you for the work that you have done. Now, what is one thing you hope readers take away from your book? I think the one thing they should be able to get from it is that you can do something totally impossible if you have the fire and drive and you seek the help of people around you. It is possible to take on an impossible task and do something great. And that's what we did. And part of the story was me kind of recognizing that I couldn't give up even if it led to failure. And that, that dedication of the purpose is what allowed us to get through. I want to add one other thing. This is kind of a Bay Area story too, since we're live in the Bay. Yeah. This product is actually made in Marin County right now. Oh, and amazing. This, and a lot of the people that work on developing it were actually here at BioMarin in the Marin County area. So it is a Bay Area story. A lot of Bay Area people involved in creating this product and making it available for hundreds of kids around the world. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for the work that you're doing to change so many lives and for joining us, Emil, on the show. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me, all of you. For more information 